Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to change the default app for text editing. I guess this concerns the web development. So, as you see, I've made Sublime Text as, let's say, the default app to modify like uh, file point PHP point HTML. Uh, so, uh, as you see in Windows 10, you can't like just change the app since here you gotta only use like some products that are only from Windows 10 so just to show you guys for example here and we should look for something point txt point html whatever it is just to make sure <laughs> okay, so uh, we go down. Uh, sorry, just started my computer, that's why it's a little bit. Uh, Okay, so here you can just change the app. You don't have the right to change, so you only have the right to look for another app in the store, and uh, that's not what I'm looking for. So you're going to go here and type CMD. Okay, right click, right on the administrator, yes, and you put a soft point, let's say, uh, so point here, 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 the stupid keyboard. Yeah. So I shouldn't get this message. Uh, and not, and not any message is going to be appeared. So just make sure you're going to put that on the text. So point txt. This is pretty much it. You know, uh, you you've got this message. File association is not found because this first the first command is is going to change the association between the the, the file. I mean the extension txt with the file type. So uh, you're going to get here. You're going to find like all the txt txt file, HTML, PHP. Well, this is where I got. Uh, they're going to be like with the same like the same thing because that we didn't we didn't define the application to so we didn't define the application or uh, something like that to do, to edit with. So going to open with choose another choose another app. You put Sublime Text, in case you didn't find it here, you go scroll down, you know, look for another PC on another app on PC. So you put like always use this app and okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, so I hope you I hope this tutorial helped you guys. I encourage you to like, subscribe. This is my first video which I use the mic, so so if you faced any problem or you got an error or something, you can like comment it in the comment section. I hope you like this video, thanks for watching, see you next tutorial.